Hello, it's lovely to be with you again this evening and to, to share a little bit of um, uh, what the Lord has laid on my heart. Uh, but before I do that, I wonder how you're feeling about the change in the lockdown rules that are coming into force or lack of force on Monday, principally uh, about the number of people that you can meet in uh, your garden or a public place. I've got to say, it's caused us a bit of a problem. While on the face of it, it's great news. Families can meet with uh, grandparents and all of that, as long as there's not more than six of you. And that's the problem, because there's Andrea and I, there's Emma and Ben, there's Catherine and Fraser, and there's Beth and Rich. And that's eight. So we've been trying to work out if we have a barbecue or a get together or whatever, who are we going to leave out? Well, we could leave out um, Ben and Rich because they eat a lot. And so that would make the barbecue more expensive. Um, so uh, that would help. But I don't think that Beth or Emma would be really very happy about that. We could leave out uh, Catherine and Fraser because they're the newest couple. And uh, so, you know, last in, first out. That seems to be a possibility. Um, we could uh, just have the girls and make it a really family affair. Um, but actually, we love the lads and they are part of the family and it would be uh, just not a gathering without them. But the rules say just six. We could draw lots, I guess. We could do a quiz. We could pay for this. We could ask them to pay for it. Uh, we could do tickets. We could do a bingo. We could do lottery. We could do uh, first one here gets in and if you're not in the first six then hard luck. We could do um, a treasure hunt to tell them where we're going to meet if it wasn't here in the garden and if you found us you found us. If you didn't you didn't. Uh, the quicker you were the better you got there. It's really difficult, isn't it? Six is a really difficult number. I don't know why they've chosen six. Scotland's going to do eight. We could work with eight. But six is a really difficult number. But, you know, those are the rules. So two are going to be left out. But which two? And why? The shortest? The tallest? The youngest? The oldest? Don't know. Don't know. And it's really hard because we love them. And it's been so long since we've been able to really be together, relaxed as a family. We just want to be together. In uh, John 3, 16, Jesus says this. Very, very well known. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. You see, with God, there is no number. There is no six or 66 or 5,000 or 10,000 or 6 million, 600 million, 6 billion. God hasn't set a limit on who can be in and who has to stay out. It's just not there in the scriptures. Because all through the scriptures, we read about how God reaches out to everybody in every land, in every place and says, I just want you to be with me. I want you to be in my heavenly home. I want you to come home. When uh, we look in Acts chapter 10, we hear um, Peter uh, talking about this. And uh, it's obviously been a bit of a struggle for Peter uh, as uh, a good Jew. He's trying to get, come out of uh, that sense of uh, the, the chosen people and that sense of it being open to all. And uh, Peter says this in, um, in Acts chapter 10, uh, verses 34 to 35. I did have this open, but there you go. 
He says, so Peter stood up and opened his mouth and said, truly, I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. Anyone. Anyone. Not four, not six, not eight, not eight billion. Anyone. There is no limit to those who are called into the kingdom and who can enter if they love the Lord Jesus. And it's not just these verses in 1 Timothy uh, chapter 3, uh, verse, well, chapter 2, verses 3 to 6. We uh, hear that uh, um, Peter, uh, Paul says uh, that God wants all people to be saved and to come to a full knowledge of him. We read about it in Isaiah chapter 45 uh, that uh, he wants all people to be saved to the ends of the earth. We read about it uh, in 2 Peter 3, 9. Uh, where uh, we find that God doesn't want anyone to perish, but he wants uh, everyone to come to repentance. I suspect, but don't tell anyone, that if we do have a family gathering, we'll invite them all. And if they all come, we'll let them in. I know that breaks the rules, but how do you exclude someone you love? How do you draw that line? Fortunately, God doesn't have a line. He just says, if you want to follow me, if you want to accept me into your heart, then come because you're welcome. If you want to say sorry for the things you've done and you want to live a new way, then come. You're welcome. There is no ticket. There is no lottery. There is no limit. We are all welcome in the kingdom of God. Shall we pray? Loving Lord Jesus, we want to thank you that we are all welcome that you make it so abundantly clear that you came to save all of us. Whoever believe in you is welcome. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that each and every one of us listening tonight in our homes, in our families, in our towns, in our cities, in our countries, in the whole world is called to come to you, to acknowledge you as Lord, to repent of our sins and to invite you into our hearts. And if even every single one of us did, you would say, come, you are welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Shall we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Sleep well and know that you are loved and welcomed by our Heavenly Father. And uh, just uh, rest in peace that you might know that truthfully. Good night.